Hello everyone, welcome again and today in this demo I'm going to show you a demonstration of a wallet management uh, uh, system in Jedui and again it's using JSP and Servlet so uh, let's talk about the technology first so it's using uh, it's, it's following MVC architecture the first thing and it's using form.xml is there so it's a Maven pro project and uh, controllers are there uh, and uh, inside the controllers using servlets exception model utility beans the front end part content JSP uh, like here JSP HTML and CSS and bootstrap the common things over there and uh, to deploy the application we are using Tomcat server okay it's running over the Tomcat 8.5 uh, to store the backend information it's using MySQL database here is the table user table send money and wallet so if you want to view the data of the any table you can just right click on the table select the first option you will be able to view the table there are two roles in the application the user role the admin and the user that can uh, operate the application so now in case you need the source code you can connect us over the whatsapp skype and you will get the complete source code report project report and the one time remote setup from our side so we'll in that remote setup we'll make sure the project is working fine at your end so just check the link in the description box you can buy the project directly from there or also you can connect us in case you have any query after configuration our remote team will leave the project in this state and after that you need to follow this demo in order to execute the application the first time when you are going to run the application what you need to do right click on the root folder of the application go to run as run on server select a server as a tomcat 8.5 click next and finish the application will automatically launch on your chrome browser or whatever the default browser you have in your machine it will be launched over there and this will be your home page and after that we have two options here sign up and sign in so when i click on the sign up and let's fill up some dummy data and uh, the bank name yeah it's, it's, I'm, I'm just using a dummy data so you can use any the account number what fields you need to fill up as a user first name last name email address password phone number uh, phone bank name and account number when you hit the submit button the data is registered successfully and this data will be reflected in your user table and this is the new record that we've just added and this is the account number okay this account number is useful i'll be operating this application so that just uh, now i'm going to log in as an admin and check what admin can do then we'll log in as a newly uh, user that we have just registered so when i log in as an admin and i can check the user list over there so what admin can do admin uh, can check the list of all the users that is registered uh, from the registration form also if admin want admin can delete them yeah this is the delete button and after that admin can check the transaction history and whenever user one user going to send the payment to any another another user the request will be come to this admin user and admin can update the status from here and make it complete accordingly uh, this is other option we have a my profile admin can update the profile and log out so just keep it login as an admin and login as another user and check what a user can do so I'm going to just log out it and just log in as another user. So here we have registered recently from this user, but also we have some existing user. So I'm going to use our existing user over there, which have some balance, I guess, or maybe not. So I just logged in here as an end user. It's not an admin user. So here we have a dashboard access. So this user can open its dashboard here we have option to add money to wallet so when i click here i just enter the amount let's say i added 5000 click on submit the money is added now the money is showing 5400 in the wallet balance as a wallet balance and this uh, person can send the money to any other wallet account can check the transaction history and these are the transaction history so when i click on the send money to other user so I can go here what I need I need a payment uh, account number so I just copy the account number of the user for that user enter it here and let's try for 6000 okay but this but this user doesn't have that balance so it will give an error insufficient balance so again if I'm going to put up a 500 then submit that money is transferred now when I check that uh, like uh, uh, dashboard it's uh, the balance is already directed from here and the available balance is uh, 400 for 4907 4, 4, and 
in the transaction history i can take it it's in process so now again let's log in as an admin and let, let's approve this payment so how can you approve the payment login as an admin go to the transaction history go to the transaction history you can see here one payment is in process so i just go update processing and complete so i just hit the complete the payment is completed now uh, okay so now that's it about the like bullet management project in j2e and jsp and serverlet so if you need the source code you can connect us over the skype or so for email and we'll do the complete setup at your machine so if you want to understand the internal code flow you can connect with us and if you are a final year student and preparing for interview it will be helpful for you to understand the real development process thank you